Hello, Mr. Nealon here. Welcome to Fira, not Forgotten Realms Total War. Which is uh, 0 0.2 Alpha. Mod. Made by Wizard of Turnish or Ladvid over at Total War Center. Wizard of Turnish on Mod B. Okay, and the models are made by him and by Azur Banipal. <coughs> I've added one, uh, I believe. Uh, Strat model to this mod, I will add more. I will add the Orc General to the unreleased VIP work in progress mod. But, uh, besides that, I've added half the Tayan Nations roster. I believe they have uh, 30 units and I add 15 units back to 2021. Okay. So we'll lower the sound and back out of the audio options menu. We'll go to single player, custom battle. So all the five new factions of this VIP, because this is not the released version. So on Modube there is a version named 0 0.2 or 0 0.2, and uh, in that version you can play as 12 different factions in custom battle, all with rosters, unit cards and such, and you can also play a campaign where you have more factions, you have all the intended 22 factions, but only 12 of them, the ones from custom battle, have rosters. And others, they do not have any units, except Vanilla Bodyguards, I believe. So you have 12 factions that are based on Faerun, oh, and then you have, I believe, uh, 12 factions, no, 10 factions that are unfinished, with Vanilla Bodyguards and no units. So in this VIP, five more factions have been added. So you can take a look at, but they do not have any unit cards here. I believe that Vladivid in 2021 posted pictures of uh, unit cards for three out of the five factions, but the, the others have not gotten any unit cards yet, and I do, do not have uh, the cards that Vladivid made. But I believe I could use the pictures for, for one of the factions at least to, to make the cards. I could probably do that at some point. But anyway, we'll fit some custom battles. We only have all. Usually we have three options here plus all, but in this mod we only have all. There are no other options. We have a bunch of different battlefields that we can fight in. Like the Aharoch, Aharoch Desert and the Blockstone Pass, Kalimshan Desert, Commander, Commander Forest, Evermores, Moonshay Moor. Muller Sand Plains, so I know that some of the factions are named, for example, Commander or Moonshay Ayers, uh, Isos. Okay, and uh, uh, such Rashman is a faction too. So, so yeah, m there are different locations you can fight battles in. You really have to excuse my poor pronunciation of certain names. I'm not at all used to D and D or Dungeons and Dragons. Forgotten Realms. I do own Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, including the remasters, but I believe I have never played them. I have, have unopened boxes. I bought them and they were cheap in 2015 when the game uh, closed down its stores in Sweden. I'm a Swedish guy. English is my second language. Okay, so I have Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 and the remasters, but I have never played them. I watched a video yesterday that told me the story of Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2, but not the story of Baal, the, 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 the expansion, the throne of Baal, uh, Baal, which is the god of murder. Okay, so I, I don't know about the expansion. I also have Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on PlayStation 2, both the first game and the second game. I've only played very little of the second game, but the first game I've actually played a bit in both with my sister and with some other dude back in the day. I played it for the first time, I believe, back in 2012 uh, with another dude. Uh, and then I played it with my sister like two years or three years ago. But I haven't played the entire game. I played about five or six levels of the game. I only play it when I have someone to play with. You know, you can play single player and you can play multiplayer coop. You you choose one character and your friend choose another. You can play two player. 
not more. And uh, yeah, you can play a dwarf, a human, or an elf. And uh, it's like Diablo 2 that game in the sense that you, you have a hero and you, you kill monsters and you get gear and it's a lot of action. I believe Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2 are different. They are more like uh, role playing games where, where you have a lot of text and dialogue but not a lot of action. In there are some action too but uh, far from the same as in a Diablo game. And uh, I believe that Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for the PlayStation 2 it's more like a Diablo game in the sense that it's more focused on the action and less on, on the text but it, it still has a lot of story and text and you get to pick different answers and such to different dialogue questions and such but yeah I haven't finished any of the games but I actually enjoyed the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance uh, game so I probably uh, will finish it at some point I am playing on the PlayStation 2 I believe I played the original PlayStation 2 version and then I also played it using an emulator with better graphics. I know that on the computer, on the PC, personal computer, that that Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for the PlayStation 2 that it had been remastered for the computer. But the problem with the computer is that you need uh, probably Steam and uh, also the other player will also need Steam so you need to buy it two times and both the players will need uh, their own computer to play it. You do not play on the same computer. You need two computers and and two Steam accounts and such. Uh, if you play on the PlayStation 2 or on an emulator, then you need two controllers, uh, but can play on the same screen. As the, the screen is divided into two. With the computer, they uh, force you to, to, to get two computers, unfortunately. Uh, okay. So we have these factions available. In this VIP, there are some new ones. We have the Kingdom of Cormir. They are all. They are in the release on Modo We have the King Kingdom of Tetir. Then we have the Centurion. We have the Republic of Amn. So in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, I believe that the first game takes place in Baldur's Gate. The Kingdom of Baldur's Gate and, and the second game in the Republic of Amn. And they are enemies. They almost went to war against each other. So I know a bit about Baldur's Gate now and uh, and Amn. Also Baldur's Gate, I believe uh, my parents uh, came with like a demo of Baldur's Gate 1 when I was a kid. So I have known about Baldur's Gate since I was a kid, but uh, in the early 2000s. But I never played it actually, the demo. I have never played a board game either, but I've seen videos on YouTube of the game. And I think it's not really my style. It's too much uh, story and too little action, I believe. I'm more Diablo type guy. I, I like when, when the focus is on the action. I like story too, but not when the, the main focus is on the story. Okay. Make Craze of Unter, one of the available factions, Kingdom of Moonshade Iyers. Then we have um, Taya Nation is a new one. It's not in the release. And I only have first 15 units added, the human ones and the goblins. There are a lot of monsters like giants, orcs, half orcs and uh, kentaurs and such that haven't been added in griffins. Okay, then we have the king of Ag Aglarond, elven kingdom. It's a new kingdom, it's not in the release. We have the confederation of Lurgar, it's also in the release. And we have the emperor of Kalimson, they are in the release. We have the Captain's Confederation, they are playable in the release. We have the Lords of Waterdeep, they are also available. The King of Tamara, they are a new faction. They also have a very large roster, so Vladivid said he was gonna cut their roster in two. He has made uh, unit cards for half their roster, but not for the other, because the other is supposed to be added to a different faction and some of their units will be Markners too. But in this version that I have, uh, they are still using all their units. They have no unit cards. So they have like 30 or so units. This faction. Just like the Taian Nation. But the Taian Nation haven't gotten the second half. The monster half added yet. So the, the Mara faction is a nation of crusaders. They have a lot of knights. And both dismounted knights. And, and, uh, and uh, cavalry. They have horse cavalry. They do not have monster cavalry. 
no griffins or other stuff but they have a lot of uh, cavalry they have the most uh, mounted cavalry or horse based cavalry in the game and heavy cavalry too then we have the nation of freshmen they are new they are not in the release and they are infantry based they have I believe two units of cavalry they have ponies really unique ponies that are really cool but uh, with a lot of fur, fur. but they um, they have uh, their, their horses are ponies and their riders are like mongols based mongol style i mean they uh, are archers and javelin throwers so ranged cavalry and lightly armored they have no heavy cavalry and very few long range cavalry but their main focus is infantry they have a lot of cool different berserkers unlike a viking faction for example because there are others like the captain's confederation have like Viking or Northman styled units, but this faction has a lot of, lot of berserkers that look Viking style, but they, they, like more than half of their roster are berserkers of different kinds, like tiger berserkers, bear berserkers, owl berserkers, and such. So they, there are like a million different berserker types. So a very infantry focused faction with really cool infantry. And then we have the Elves of Command here, really, really good. Uh, ranged faction with both cavalry and non cavalry. I believe the Aglaron faction has griffins, heavy infantry, uh, heavy cavalry griffins, knights on elvish knights on griffins with swords and shield or, or two swords, I believe. Uh, Elves of Command, they have Pegasus and other cool horse horses. Okay, they are ranged focused, they have a lot of females. Uh, unlike the others, I believe Aglaron does as females and some others, but uh, Elves of Commander has the most females, followed by Aglaron, and uh, yeah, there is like a female unit in every single unit here, I believe. Okay, and then we have the Kingdom of uh, Men Arrows, the Orcs, they are available in the release. Commander is not available. Commander, and then uh, have the Duchy of Baldur's Gate are playable. Okay, so I was gonna let uh, Baldur's Gate fight the Republic of Amn, as that's the only rivalry I know about after watching YouTube videos a day ago about the first two games. I believe that the game Forgotten Realms Total War or Faron Total War, it's not based on the Baldur's Gate game, it's based on the entire world of uh, Faron. And that includes like the board games and the the, the, the tabletop stuff and, and such. So, so a lot of books and such. So the games mostly take place in one area or two, while uh, the, the, the entire Faerun world uh, is much much larger. So the developers Vlad and Azerbaijan has uh, taken the units from mostly books and. Uh, information they get from text based sources not from, from actual games okay so we'll let these factions fight we will not really control any faction ourselves let AI fight the battle and we want the army to be as large as it can be. So, so a lot of infantry here. Both factions. Ranged units. They do not have any uh, siege equipment by the way. So, so they don't have any ballistas, trebuchets or catapults or cannons or whatever. You see here we have uh, Battle Clerics and Flaming Feast Watchmen we have uh, Flaming Feast Guards Tan Watch Archers Tan Watch Crossbowmen Clockwood Rangers and we have the Flaming Feast Crossbowmen and uh, the Apprentice Wizards, they are elite of course and Flaming Feast Border Patrol Basic infantry, flaming feast cavaliers, medium infantry, uh, cavalry, I mean, and bodyguard knights, their best cavalry. 
and we have their enemy, the Republic of Am, the other was I believe the Duchy of Baldur's Gate, I said kingdoms previously, but it's a duchy. The duchy, the first came, uh, it was about an evil guy who, who wanted to kill the party and the main player and such because he wanted to become the, the Duke of Baldur's Gate and the hero had to kill him in the end to stop him from becoming the leader. He was evil, of course. <coughs> and the second game took place uh, in the Republic of Am but uh, with the same hero and such okay and uh, if I look at the factions they, ha they have different units generals bodyguard they might be vanilla this bodyguard apprentice visit like a, a card yeah. golden legion cavalry well, we will still pick this bodyguard in the worst case they are vanilla still even though this faction is playable in the release Golden Legion Cavalry we'll add them and they have the same wizard as the other unit the other faction Golden Legion Bowman Golden Legion Crossbowman Pan Watch Crossbowman so they have a lot of crossbowmen in this faction Pan Watch Archers Battle Clerics Golden Legion Spearmen, Golden Legion Swordsmen, and Ten Watch Spearmen. And I believe not all of these factions are finished. Vlad is still making models for, for the already released faction. He has posted pictures of new models for some of the old factions. So maybe this faction in Baldur's Gate will get new models too. Okay, but he hasn't been active since 2021. Unlike uh, Azerbanipal, who has continued to make uh, new models for the game, new factional rosters uh, since 2020, so uh, Vlad uh, became he, he he became inactive in the end at the end of 2021. But Azerbanipal has uh, continued to make models, and he last posted new models this month in October 2023. So. He is still active. We'll add another cavalry unit as uh, Baldur's Gate had three cavalry units. It would be unfair otherwise. We need to back out. We need uh, both Baldur's Gate factions to be the same team. And... Uh, yeah, both can attack. And we will retreat with our unit. As you can see that our ally has three different cavalry units. Well, Am has two. Two that are the same, but they are unique. This one might be a vanilla one. You're unlucky. Okay, let's start the battle. So this is the first battle in Fair and Total War that I do a video of, out of. I believe I played a bit in Fair and Total War back in 2021. When I, or 2020. Something like that. When I added the, the, the Elves of Command here, that Warcraft hero, one of the models that Warcraft Total War had. Uh, implemented into the code. Uh, he implemented four out of five actions to the game. After the release in su in summer of 2020 the 2B alpha was released and the World of Terror had implemented four new factions, the Elves of Commander, the Elves of the Kingdom of Aglarond and uh, the Mara and the Rashman. <coughs> he they implemented them after the release and then I implemented half of Tay's roster. And the general unit uh, on the general model on the map. So we have a, a vanilla general. We have a custom bodyguard with custom mount. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, the, the general models need to be replaced with something more suitable. But for now, we will let them have vanilla models. This this mod is very much a VIP work in progress. Like uh, it's intended to have uh, 22 factions, but. Only 12 were ready to be released in 2020. 2021, <coughs> Vlad said he was gonna release another version, 0.3, which would have added the Elves of Command to the Kingdom of Aglarond, another Elven faction, and uh, would have added, I believe, uh, the Mara too, and cut it in half, so there would, would have been a, a fourth faction too. The Mara roster would have been cut into two factions plus some mercenaries and uh, that version was supposed to be released in 2021 but it wasn't uh, I believe all the cards were uh, made for at least the Mara the elves 
and such, but uh, and, and balance and costs and such, but it wasn't released. I don't have that version. I have a slightly more updated version, but that has uh, has the Taya Nation too and the Rashomon faction. Okay, because they were added later. I believe um, Vlad's version was the Hestus now, and then there are more factions finished after that, like. Uh, like the Delzone Dwarfs and 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 uh, some others, but they are not implemented into the game's code. That will happen at some point. We'll move this unit. Oh, I haven't selected it, that thing. Or I can't select it there, okay. Place it over there. Check our ally. So these are the Town Watch archers. So this is a human faction. So Baldur's Gate, the Duchy of Baldur's Gate, they are a trade. Duchy, they trade with others and such. Merchant place. A lot of merchants there. Have an army, of course, but it, it's a trade city. Live or a bunch of cities that trade and such. Okay, Town Watch Crossbowmen, similar unit but with different weapons. Uh, Cloakwood Rangers, they are different. Looked cool. Reminds me of like the Sherwood Archers of uh, England in Vanilla Medieval too. Okay. Then we have the Flaming Feast crossbowmen. We have Shane Mail, Tabards. A little bit more heavily armored than the others. We have the Battle Clerics. The Paladin style troops. Pretty cool. Two of each. And then we have some, some uh, Flaming Feast. Forcers, Knights, Baldur's Gate. They're also pretty cool, to be honest. I did do a strat model for Baldur's Gate, but I did a mistake, so didn't have, I believe, uh, something was missing on the model. I will need to remake it. But I'm supposed to do strat model generals and captains for all the factions, the 12 factions of uh, Open 2. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've already got gotten the models from Lad for the intended captains and generals. As for agents, they could also be done. I'm mean, not just certain what to use, but I could pick something. Anyway, these models are pretty cool. The, the heavy, heavily armored Flaming Feast troops. Like the Flaming Feast guards here with their phalanxes. And we have the Flaming Feast cavaliers. Heavy cavalry, actually. They're also cool looking. Like any faction that has, you know, custom models, they do not look like vanilla models. Because I'm so tired of seeing vanilla medieval 2 models. Okay, uh, Flaming Feast Border Guard, Border Patrol. Slightly less armored ones. They look more like vanilla, but they still have cool. Custom gear. These guys look a little bit vanilla, but it's the faces, I believe, that looked all. The rest looked custom. Then we have the bodyguard knights. And they have a vanilla general. Yeah, the, the general will be replaced. Yeah. Okay, and then we can pause the game, take a look at their enemy, the Republic of Amn. They also have archers, Town Watch archers. They are a rival republic of the Duchy of Baldur's Gate. They almost went to war in, in the first game, I believe. In the story. Okay. Republic of Amn. 
I believe uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance also takes place in, in Baldur's Gate. Public of M, they have uh, Conquistador helmets, these guys. Spanish con con Conquistadors, whatever. Uh, they have some archers too, their helmets look like the Spanish troops. Here they have their mages. I believe he had mages too for Baldur's Gate. Maybe I missed the unit. And they have some infantry here too. Similar helmets and style. They look very much like 14th century troops. These guys. I think. And we have spearmen. More spearmen. So this faction was more colorful than the other. It had uh, less units with actual heavy armor. I believe they, they are more... Uh, uh, the others are more like medieval. Well, these are 14th or 15th century style. They have less armor, more modern in a way. Still have medieval weapons, just more modern style in terms of their ar armor and such for the units. Here we have a heavily armored cavalry unit. Two of these, I believe. But they only had two units of cavalry. Then they have Vanilla bodyguards. It was Vanilla, that means they only have one custom cavalry unit. So this faction, Republic of Ammon, certainly need one or two more cavalry units, maybe a bodyguard and and that second unit. Currently they only have one cavalry unit, well Baldur's Gate had three different ones. Okay, so this unit is obviously not intended to be in the game, but is here because every faction needs a general bodyguard in, in the campaign. So yeah, should probably replace it with something else, maybe these guys. I don't know if Vlad has replaced the bodyguards in his version. I don't know. But if I'm gonna replace them in this version, then I just pick the, the one cavalry that they have here as their bodyguard here. Yeah. And replace their general with the most elite cavalry unit that they have. Check this. Yeah, they, they did have cav uh, the same mage. Apprentice wizards. They were really cool projectile, by the way. Okay, let's start the battle. We'll retreat with our cavalry unit. So I would think that that uh, Baldur's Gate is a stronger faction. They have a lot of heavy infantry and cavalry, and uh, they have three different cavalry units, which means they have different stats. It should be to their advantage, I believe. My bet would be on Baldur's Gate to win this. It's very balanced. Balance power is evenly matched, but to the Duchy of Baldur's Gate's benefit, they are slightly stronger on the balance of power meter. Revey sound. Uh, let's move that up. I don't know if we have custom music or if it's vanilla music in battle or if we have music at all in battle So the town watch crossbowmen have started to fire upon the enemy I don't know why we are using Total War camera to Maybe it's fine. Yeah, these guys look cool. I prefer Baldur's Gate over Republic of Ammon. I always liked uh, high medieval era troops more than the later era, where they have less armor and look a bit weird in my opinion. I was never a big fan of uh, 14th century or 15th century style troops. At least the troops didn't look as cool as in the high medieval era. So 
these, these troops of Baldur's Gate are, in my opinion, more badass looking at than the, the troops of the Republic. Um, Mages have the same projectile, I believe, in every faction. They are pretty unique. Move up in the air and then down Lord to the enemy. We've lost half of our men. No, we only lost one unit that I retreated from the battle. Our army is tiring. That I withdraw from the battle. Now they start fighting. We are not using the Kamek mode. Oh, what unit is this? This is the battle clerics of the Republic of Am. So they had such a unit, but they look different here. They have a different skin. It's the same unit as the the ones in use by the Baldur's Gate faction, but I believe I prefer the golden ones actually. So the Republic of Am had cool battle clerics. I mean, the Bal Baldur's Gate ones are not bad, but they didn't look as cool as these golden ones. that we have a vanilla cavalry unit in the battle. If we have the total war camera on, chances are it will lag more than if we use the normal camera, but we get zoom in more on the enemy uh, on the troops. Uh, of course if we used camera mode well, we could zoom in even more than this, but I didn't bother to add it to the mod yet. So that's why we have only the normal zooming options, unlike in Herald War. I've added a Kamek mod, which allows me to zoom in much more, and zoom out much more too. Yeah, this is still pretty decent view of the troops in action. I searched on Fair and War on YouTube and there were like three videos by the same dude. I did one intro video of the entire mod that I watched to the fullest. It was good and then I had some Let's Play videos where I played as three different fa two different factions, two videos of one faction and one of another. I only watched part of one of the videos. But yeah, I, I didn't watch everything. There were no custom battle videos where they fight battles, so I felt like doing one. Uh, unfortunately we don't have any sound. Let's increase the sound. It's a bit too loud, to be honest. Let's place it in at 50. 49. But yeah, there is no music in battle here. Unfortunately. So that's still to be added. Even the vanilla music on the battle is better than no music, I believe. But uh, I'm so tired of the vanilla music on the map that I wouldn't be able to stand it. At least in in battle, in battle, I think that the vanilla music is better than no music at all. But but if we but on the map, it's it would be turned off by hearing the vanilla music. To be honest. I would uh, I, I get tired when I hear the music. <coughs> yeah. Then it's better to use random music from somewhere than to use the needle music on the map. Except when you are gonna do a let's play, is it maybe copyright struck if it's if it's uh, custom. Okay, so we have killed 25%, lost 46% of our troops. We are still leading the balance of power meter. It's a very even battle. I mean, it looks like we are losing, but the meter is still in our favor. I think they might still be able to win the battle. I don't know about the AI if they are that good. But the cavalry is just standing around, not doing much. Both armies are, Saracen after all, General. controlled by the AI. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. 
So yeah, the AI might not be the most aggressive. Enemy general fall, so the general of the Republic of Ammon fell in battle. The horses for the most part are custom. Or from other mods, I don't believe they are vanilla. Oh, these guys are fleeing, including the battle clerics. Really cool unit, actually. Coolest unit in their faction. Their army is break. Uh, it's routing, actually. That's good. Killed at 9% of the enemy and lost 50% of our troops, but their army is broken. broken. We are now leading, clearly, in the balance of power, meter. Seems the Baldur's Gate faction will win. Yeah, the, the general needs to be replaced and any vanilla bodyguard will be replaced. So yeah. See when Vlad returns, uh, he has the latest build of the mod, but <coughs> that doesn't prevent me from making the strat models and uh, replacing generals and bodyguards of the vanilla game in this version. I could also replace the music with something, temporary music, if I want to play it a bit. But, um, and I could add the rest of the factions, then send the rest to, send the VIP to, to Lesser Banipal and Vlad later. Uh, I believe uh, Azurbanipal is still making models and I was gonna implement some of the models he has made to this version because I don't have the latest version that Vlad has. Uh, so, so yeah, we will implement them to this version and uh, then we will send this version to Vlad and he will merge the changes of this version with his version before any release. I might upload a patch with any strat models that I make for the mod so that the released version, the open 2 version, can use the new strat models because it sucks in the campaign when the generals, captains, and agents have vanilla models. So they, they will get at least custom generals and captains. I could do the agents too, but it will take more, a longer time to do that. Yeah, this faction was really cool. The Baldur's Gate faction, of course they need custom generals and and uh, captains and heroes, but that's not as important as finishing the, the factional rosters of every other faction. I believe that Azurbanipal has actually finished all ten uh, remaining factions, but they haven't gotten all the models. I believe I have Shadowar, Taya Nation, and, uh, and Delson the Dwarves, and I got Shonda today. And then we have the ones we saw here. In addition to the, the old ones, we have the Elves of Commander, and the King of Elrond, the King of Rashomon, and we have the Mara. So, so yeah, quite a few new ones. And then I believe that he has finished Zambia and uh, Mullerand too, but haven't sent them yet. So there are quite a few new ones. And the matter was gonna be the cut into. I don't remember which, uh, what the, the name was of the fa new faction. But here, battle. Yeah, it sucks that they do not have any custom battle. Yeah, music. Could probably take music from uh, Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2 and Baldur's Gate 3 for the Baldur's Gate faction, but I don't know if it would fit others. I mean, Republic of Am could probably use Baldur's Gate 2 music. And Baldur's Gate could use Baldur's Gate 1 music for sure. And Dark Alliance music. Dark Alliance 2 music. But uh, Baldur's Gate 3, I don't know. Anyway, it'll be more troublesome to find music for, let's say, the factions that do not have games. So we killed 66% um, of the enemy, lost 51%. Yeah, it lost kind of the atmosphere when, when it lacked music. It didn't uh, feel as epic as uh, if, if we had had some music playing. But it was easier to speak at least. The, the apprentice mages uh, wizards are fleeing too. 
Human wizards, males. Yeah, I, I think it's good that Baldur's uh, Gate won. They had a cooler roster. And such. So they won the battle against their rival. The battlefield here. I just picked a random battlefield. Maybe this battlefield was at the correct one. For this battle, I should have taken Amn or Baldur's Gate. Just picked something. Became a desert. Yeah, the music certainly needs to be implemented too. So you get some feelings while playing. You know, you want the Baldur's Gate feeling when you play Baldur's Gate, and the M feeling when you play M. For the others, I don't know. It will be more difficult if they are only based on books and texts or the tabletop game and not on actual games. I mean visual games with uh, music. Right, but the uh, faction of Baldur's Gate is cool. The bodyguard unit had really cool, unique mounts, horses with unique tabards. I have never seen these horses before. Another mod, they are unique to, to this mod. Farron to the war. Forgotten Realms to the war. Farron is, uh, I believe, a shorter name for Forgotten Realms, I mean. Like a short for Forgotten Realms. Okay. Most factions do not have any monsters or creatures. And all of the 12 factions in the release only have male troops. I believe many of the new factions have female troops. And the Taya nation has half the roster consisting of giants, orcs, goblins, gnolls, and kentaurs. And s and Griffins and such, so there will, there will be monsters there. We had an orc faction, I believe, in the 12 original factions. There is an orc faction. And the orcs of this world are very similar to the orcs of Elder Scrolls, I believe. They look similar. And are infantry based. Okay. They sucked uh, that we didn't have any music. Maybe we'll have music in some of the other battlefields, but not in this desert, unfortunately. Okay. Kill 95% of the fled 97%. We lost 53% in the battle before everyone routed the enemy. Horses might be placeholders for the original 12 factions. I don't believe that they will use this type of horse if they are heavy knights. Maybe they will get something better. I believe all the new factions have new mounts, but the old factions only had like one mount, unique mount like this one with different skins for different factions. I believe there are some clone factions and there are some unique ones too. We'll take a look at all the ones in the release first. We started with the Republic of Am and the Duchy of Baldur's Gate because I knew know about their story now, at least the story of the games. And uh, because I have played Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance a bit, I haven't finished it unfortunately. It's not fun to play single player. You, you want to play with a friend or with uh, a sibling or something, a cousin. So that's why I need all to play with someone Christendom else. Will be for awed it to be by the victory we have won here today. Well, the Baldur's Gate one and two games they are single player based, but uh, not really my style. And they are old too. Even the PlayStation two graphics are great in comparison. Okay, clear victory. Baldur's Gate won the battle. We have some cool loading screens. And if you check the campaign, grand campaign, you can see that we have these playable factions. We have um, King of Cormer over here, and we have the King of Tater down here, and we have the Santorim, Santorim, 
then we have the Republic of Amn over here, where Baldur's Gate 2 takes place. And we have the Mega Craze of Unter over here, with the King of Montrey Ayers over here, Confederation of Lurar over here, the Empire of Kalimshan over here, the Captain's Confederation, they are over here, holding some Ayers. And then we have the Lords of Waterdeep here. And we have the King of Many Arrows, the Orcs, they are over here, I believe. And we have uh, the Duchy of Baldur's Gate, where most of the uh, video games and computer games take place. So Baldur's Gate. And um, then I've added the Elves of Command here back in 2020 or 2021, so they are playable in my VIP, but they are not available in the release. And uh, I have, as I said, uh, half the Taya Nation and uh, the Kingdom of Tamara, the Kingdom of Aglarond and the Kingdom of Rashomon in custom battle, they haven't been placed out on the map. And then I have also the Delzone Dwarves and, uh, and uh, Sondat faction and Shadow are in the files but haven't implemented them and then Azurbanipal has um, Zambia, Mulhoran and uh, <coughs> yeah I think that's the ones he has yet to send so there are two factions he has finished that haven't been sent yet and then there are three factions he has finished and sent that I have gotten but that aren't implemented into the game's code, so they are not in the game. And then there are three factions that are in the game's code but haven't been added to the campaign. And then there are 12 old factions that are still in the campaign, and one new faction here, the elves. The reason I added the elves was because I wanted to play the faction with the females, but uh, I didn't uh, add the others because... <coughs> yeah, I... I, uh, I don't know, I didn't care enough. I don't know much about Baldur's Gate and uh, Forgotten Realms and such, but of course uh, the, the idea is that every single faction should be added to the mod sooner or later. We'll take a look at the Orcs, only because they are the only ones with, with custom generals on the map. Everyone has of course their own units in battle, but they might have vanilla generals and bodyguards. I believe the Elves of Commander has a custom general and a custom bodyguard, I added that, I believe, when, before starting to play as them, I played a bit as the faction, but it was, wasn't very fun, because you had no music in the, in the battles, and uh, it was very unbalanced, so for example, some of the units in the game could, could like, kill off most of your troops, <coughs> there, there was very bad balance, so a lot of, um, like, modding work is required, to make this mod, uh, you know, balanced both when it comes to costs and uh, costs of units and balance between units. Otherwise it's not very fun when, when your entire army might be owned by the militia of the enemy because they have so much better stats or something. Uh, anyway, I, I felt when I played the, the elves that they uh, were fighting an uphill battle, even their elite infantry got owned uh, and such. They had good mages, but their, their, their infantry weren't very good. Okay, let's check the, the orcs. Really nice background pictures, or loading pictures. Looks very cool. Don't know if this is a female or a male. Probably a female. I like when there are like female characters in Triple War mods, but they, they 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 shouldn't look too masculine. This one is pretty cool. I don't know if it's a male or a female, but I think it's a female based on the face. But um, yeah, if they are too masculine, it kind of ruins the point. <coughs> anyway, this is the Orc General. I only did one model. Of course, they will get the Captain too. This is the general of the orc faction. 
many arrows the warlord chosen is the bodyguard and infantry bodyguard so they are similar to the orcs of elder scrolls that's all with the dwarves of del zone and the minor factions all the factions are in the game but the ones without rosters only have the bodyguard unit and no recruitment so the dwarves are in the game, but they do not have any troops. They have a vanilla bodyguard. So they are not even dwarves. Uh, but the orcs are actually orcs, but they have a small roster. But they are pretty cool. They are the only monster faction. All the others are humans. Or elves. <coughs> and later dwarves. So we, we will have monsters in some of the factions. as mercenaries and as extra troops. But they are not factions of their own, uh, except this orc faction of many arrows. They do not have that many troops. They are similar to the Elder Scrolls faction in that regard. They have a small infantry based army with ranged troops and infantry troops. <coughs> and no cavalry, as far as I know. <coughs> Orcish archers, spearmen, shamans. They have a mage unit at least. That's good and heavy war band so they have heavy infantry groom and war priests two units with uh, no this is a melee unit similar to the, ba similar to the battle uh, clerics the humans of the Ballish gate faction and the republic fam orcs archers yeah spear throwers they, they are uh, infantry based and currently the only faction with an actual custom model on the map the others uh, have vanilla models in the map. It's a cool map. Very large. Well done. Well made. Accurate lore. Have some minor factions. Different areas. Every single faction is placed out with the leader, at least, and probably an heir too. Like Aglarond and others. So it's easy to just add the uh, recruitment and they will be working. But we need to, of course, replace the bodyguards and, and the generals so they don't have vanilla generals. And as we see here, they have vanilla models on the map. Yes. So, of course, uh, that needs to be changed too. I can do strat models, but only if they are low poly enough. If they are high poly, like the 4.6 models of Hyrule to Lord, then I can't do it because they will need to be lowered and re rigged and such. Uh, this orc worked fine, so I believe all the 12 factions of the release will be fine. I don't know about the new models, though. They are higher quality. They are of higher polygon count. Might be too, too much. So they might need rigging. I have rigged one strat model but it was difficult for me. It took me two days and two nights. I don't want to do that. If I can avoid it um, doing a model th that doesn't require rigging is like something you can do in sometimes in 10 minutes and sometimes in an hour depending on the model and the texture and such. Different textures and different models may have uh, different detail, but it's between 10 minutes and 1 hour per, mo per model. But if you need to rig it, then it's between 8 hours and 2 days. For me at least, I, I did one model that took me 2 days and then I didn't want to do that again. That was back in 2021 for Hyrule to the War. A fairy general. It was very, very complicated. It had a bug. A vertis bug that needed to be fixed took me two days to, to fix it but uh, a normal model would probably take like eight hours to rig or, or less but anyway it's still a lot and uh, I prefer just converting models from battle models to strat models which takes between 10 minutes and one hour depending on the model so I prefer that over rigging a model which takes like eight hours or more at the worst but uh, so yeah that's why I'm worried that uh, the better uh, quality models, I mean the higher polygon count models, might require rigging. There Otherwise they will no crash due to their warrior. polygon count. 
think yeah we will finish the the, the general and captain models for all the already added factions that have rosters and then we'll tackle the new ones and hopefully they will also work if not we have to probably find the lower quality models in the roster and use them as placeholders as I can't do high polygon models without having to read them okay but uh, and uh, if we look at the map you can see that we have a bunch of different factions here so all the factions are ready it's just that they do not have their, their rosters and in, in the summer of 2020 I believe that there were a few factions made that weren't included in the release such as uh, Shadow War and the Taya Nation they were made already back then and then the Elves of Kormantor and, and uh, the Rashman and uh, the King of Aglarond and the Mara they were made in October of 2020 so they weren't implemented until I believe late October. So yeah, but then they need unit cards and unit info cards and we need balance and uh, we need uh, <coughs> costs, balance and you need, <coughs> you know, to add everything to the recruitment and such too. Which hasn't been done for most of them. I believe Vlad in his version had added the elves and Aglarond and the Mara to the campaign too. And done cost changes and balance changes. His version was more up to date. Because I sent him this version and War of Heroes sent him a bunch of faction and rosters he had implemented to his version and then Vlad uh, did some updates to the costs, balance and unit cards and, and added at least three of the factions to the map with uh, recruitment and such. So his version is the latest one but no one else has it and he has been away since late 2021 due to personal reasons uh, and uh, yeah that's why I have a slightly older version that I'm forced to use if I want to do anything but um, Aster Banipal has been continuously making models and even though uh, we had like five additional factions ready in 2020 and 2021 uh, that has increased to 10 now, so we have 10 or 11 factions ready now uh, but they are not in the, in the game for the most part or haven't been added to the campaign with recruitment and such and none of them have units with cards I believe the Elves of Command or Aglaron and the Mara may have cards in Lads first okay, but anyway, thank you for watching and we will do more battles, I believe with other factions I think this video will end here. We had a battle between the Duchy of the Baldur's Gate and the Republic of M. We'll check others later. Thank you for watching. Bye.